Okay guys, so it's, first of all, I can't believe it's August already. Like, where has the time gone? I feel like I'm, like, by, you know, before I know it, I'm gonna be, like, married with a kid and pregnant with the next one or something. I don't know. I'm not pregnant, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, it's already 11.13 p.m. So, like, starting this vlog you know, like, it's barely, like, gonna be today, still, so, anyway, um, but I had a really busy day, I woke up, like, at 10, and then just took a shower and started getting ready, which, like, always took me forever, shit, that reminds me, I have to wash my clothes, because I don't have, like, light-colored bras to wear tomorrow, and I need it for what I'm gonna wear, so, anyway, um, thanks for my, I think I saw my clothes right there, I was like, and, I was talking about the bra thing. So anyway, um, I went, I woke up, got ready, and then was kind of watching the Olympics a little, or what was I watching? No, we were watching some, I don't know, I was watching something and we got sucked in, sucked into it for like a little while with my sister. But anyways, then we took off, uh, with my sister to Toys R Us, which kind of got lost in the way because that freeway exit has like the two, like the east-west exits, and so that always confuses me and I was like, I'm like, okay, so this is the right one. But I ended up getting on the wrong side, so I had to, like, make this whole really big U-turn, because, like, by the time I realized I was going the wrong way, we were kind of farther down. We are like, by L closer to L.A. than Los Feliz and Glendale and stuff. But anyways, um, so I went to go get Dempsey's present, and let me show it to you guys, because you probably won't see it tomorrow once I wrap it up. So this is what I was, I went all the way to freaking Glendale, the Toys R Us in Glendale for it. This is what I was looking for. This is what was frustrating me so much. I don't know why I keep mumbling my words so much. I know I, I do that a lot anyway, but like I feel I'm doing it a lot right now. Anyways, this is what I got her. This is the uh, Disney Bell's Talking Tea Set. And basically it has Mrs. Potts and like the little teacups that look like Chip and you can kind of hear it. It's, she talks. Yeah, that for being my friend so that's what the, the thing says and I was looking specifically for this one I could have bought her any other tea set I've seen like really other some other really really cute tea sets but since she's really into Belle right now and this is what she recognizes it and I had seen I had kind of shown her a picture of what like you know you want this one or this one and she was like I want this one and it kind of like talks and stuff and she's three so it's kind of perfect for her and I'm sure she'll get like a bunch of other tea set stuff so, anyway, um, and then, um, I don't know if I showed you the, uh, the other present I got for her. This was yesterday. Um, I got her this, which is the Ladybug and Bingo Girl, Bingo Book. She really likes Ladybug Girl, um, and if you don't know who she is because either you have boys or your daughter isn't into it, or you just don't have kids or you're too young to have kids, um, it's basically, it's like this gr little girl who basically um she's her, has an alter ego which is a uh, ladybug girl and it's like this like you know superhero kind of alter ego i mean she's not like the superhero but like you know it's like when kids pretend or something like they pretend they're like a pirate or a princess or something something like that it's um so that's what the books are about it's just like this little girl who um dresses up like a ladybug basically she's always wearing this ladybug suit with the wing and she has like her little dog who's like this um like i'm guessing it's a basset hound i don't think it's a beagle i think it's a basset hound because the ears are a little longer but um and i mean this is the f this is the newest book that sh that uh she has the first one's like ladybug girl and it just talks about like you know how she like isn't scared of anything and she can do anything and she puts her mind to and like because her brother's like you're a bug like what do bugs know about like you know being cool whatever and she's like well I can do anything I did this all by myself and you know and I help the ants and cross the stuff and like you know just make believe like role play kind of thing that little kids do and then there's um ladybug girl and bumblebee boy which is she sees her she goes to the park and she's like trying to figure out what to play with her friend and finally she's like you want to play Ladybug Girl and he becomes Bumblebee Boy because he's like a striped shirt and she's like, you kind of look like that and they become, they like fight evil and whatever, you know, at the park, like they help, like the squirrel's a monster and like it's gonna get the dog, something like that. 
And uh, then there's Ladybug Girl at the beach, where she goes to the beach and stuff. And then there's, um, what's the other one? And then there's Ladybug Girl and the Bug Squad, which it's her Bumblebee Boy and then these two other little girls, her like Dragonfly Girl and Butterfly Girl. It's a, it's a really cute series. Like if you need to get a gift for a little girl or you have a daughter, you can really check these out. They're really cute books. Um, and they also have the shorter board books, which are like little, like I guess like parts of them. Like I've gotten her um, for Christmas or her birthday last year, I think. I actually got her um, Ladybug Girl Dresses Up and there's also Ladybug Girl Loves, you know, so-and-so, and what's the other one? Ladybug Girl and Her Friends or something like that. But they're, like, really cute little books, but this is the newest one. It's, like, with about her going camping with her dog and, like, and stuff. Um, so I got her that yesterday, and I think those, like, she loves those books, so I got that for her. They're a little lengthy. These are, I'll, t I'll be honest with you, so, like, the board books, sometimes we prefer them with her parents because we're just so tired, but, like... I just want to read something short, but they're really cute. So I got her that, and then I went to the mall with my sister because I need, I have the strange necessity to spend my dough when I don't need to be spending my dough. But anyway, um, where did we go? Well, we went to eat first of all because we were starving. We hadn't eaten anything. By this time, I was like one because it took us forever to go to Toys R Us and then. We were also looking at other stuff. Um, so, anyway, so we went to stove, stone oven. St stone oven, yes, it's not stove oven. I always see stove oven, but it's stone oven. And I got, like, the typical tuna melt sandwich, although I only ate half this time, and I had gotten the kale chips this time, because I don't eat the salads. Like, the salads are, like, their side salads aren't that great, but, and by the time I eat the sandwich, I'm pretty much full from it, but I only ate half the sandwich. I was pretty from that um, and then from there we went to Sephora because I want to try the naked foundation so but like I said I couldn't online it was just hard to match it it, it turns out I'm like a complete shade like I'm not like a 0.5 shade lighter I'm like one of the like because they go um, 1 1.5 2 2.5 and so on until I think they get past 6 or something um, so, I was like, um, yeah, can you match me? Like, they didn't have it up front. They still haven't, ha like, they don't have it, like, at least this before I went to in Glendale. They don't have it on display yet, but they do have it in stock in the back. So, I, like, thankfully, the girl was really nice. So, I got it. I'm very, very excited. I know you can't really see it this way. Like, you can't see this, the thing, but... Basically, this is the packaging. It's like this bronzy gold color. It's kind of similar to if you guys have the. I feel like I'm doing like a video for my makeup vlog, but I'll read. I'll read. I'll the uh, makeup channel. Um, I'll be reviewing this on there. So wait for that. But I still want to. try I'm still waiting for my brush to come in because I did order the Urban Decay one. That's like specially for this. Um, I mean, I didn't just order it because I was buying this. It was also because I. You guys know I've been looking for a brush for that. I mentioned it like the last time I went to Sephora. Um, just because sometimes like the this one I feel it leaves a streak the flat one sometimes so and I wanted like the pro HD one and I couldn't find it last time because they were like organizing it. So anyways I got that. So I want to wait for that to come in. Um, I'm also going to use it my other makeup forever one. Which don't get me wrong it's like this was not necessarily because I needed it. This was more like I wanted it. And I thought it was a good way to get back into my makeup channel as well. Like, I still have to do a video for that. Um, I might actually do one tonight. Like, fix my hair up and then do it. And then post it in the morning. And keep working on the vlogs to put them up. Uh, the ones I already have uploaded. And put the descriptions up. So anyways, um, I... Basically, I got this because I wanted to try it. And I was like, finally, you know, I'm in the... No, but anyways, it ended up being a 4 point, I know you can't see it, it's, up, it's like wrong, but I'm the 4.0 shade, and online it had said I'm like 5.0, but that would have been like way too dark for me, um, which I'm like, 
that's the one thing I'm like not really good at with makeup like that's my biggest flaw I'm so confused when it comes to matching like on myself especially but anyways this is basically the color I don't know if you can really see it because there's like a glare on it but that's the color that's my color because it matches this my face is like so much lighter obviously and, oh my god I'm breaking out so bad even though I have been using purity and stuff but I think I just my hormones are crazy right now so anyway um I got this it's it does feel pretty weightless when she put it on it like it felt more like a tinted moisturizer but we'll see how it goes um you know at least I'll have foundation for a really long time because I have the makeup forever and I still have some of my cargo one so yeah and um I know a lot of the times I do like even on my makeup time I've mentioned a lot of like high-end stuff it's not that I just use that I used to use a lot of drugstore one but just my skin's pretty sensitive and I'm really afraid of matching the stuff to other things and I just happen to go more to Sephora when I go to like Target I'm always like oh you know I'll try it some other time because you can't like test it but I will get like the eyeshadow stuff and mascaras from there. And then since I was there and I've been looking for a highlighter, I got the Smashbox Halo Highlighting Wand. It's in the color gold. So it's not like anything that was like specifically for my skin tone or anything like that. Um, I mean, I don't think they do it that way with highlighters, but it wasn't like, um, like I was like, oh, this one goes in my tone or whatever. Like she helped me with that. But anyway. So, it says, the way light plays off the face can make or break a photo. Create a radiant glow with Halo Highlighting Wand. The click-through pen allows for precise highlighting and imparts a dewy glow to skin. Apply to tops of cheekbones, bridge of nose, cupid's bow, and above brow bones for instant illumination. It's like having your own personal lighting crew. The fun thing about this, it actually has like this, like the wand has like this brush tip. So it's really easy to apply, although, like, I... I have the brush for like powder stuff, so I'll probably end up buying powder stuff anyway. But I still wanted something that was easy. So, because they also recommend the NARS illuminating one. So, anyway, and now this video is going to be long enough for you guys. Um, so, I went to get that. Uh, and we went, I was about to get the uh, Panatone Tangerine Blush, the duo one, but they didn't have it there. And they had it at this other Sephora one too, but I was like, you know what, I need to stop spending money today. At least, like, wait for my other check to come in, and then I can go. But I really should start saving for this stuff. Let me just show you the shirts that I was going to show you last night. So, this is the shirt I bought yesterday, by the way. Like, this really cute top, and it has... So that I was saying about the gold, like, it has, like, the buttons and stuff. So, anyways, it's just really simple, like, um... I forgot what you call this kind of collar. It's like a collared shirt, but it's not exactly collared collared. It's like, I don't know. I can't think of it right now. And this is the other shirt that I got that I said was like brownish or like almost like a burgundy brown actually with the pink, light pink, mauve type, mauvish type um, pink. And it has buttons and it has like the Peter Pan collar kind of thing going on and little tie stuff. So, um, anyway, so basically after Sephora and stuff, we passed by H&M, and then we went really quickly to Forever 21, and it was, I, again, I didn't, I was trying to look for that skirt, but they didn't have it, except for the size it's medium, so I'm going to try to just wait one more week for them to call me, or call them tomorrow, for, at the one that I put on hold, and, um, and if not, if they haven't taken it off, then I think I might just order online, so... It actually might be cheaper online, to tell you the truth. Sometimes they have, like, those weird online sales. Um, so there was that. And then we just went to work, and Dempsey was really excited that my sister was there and whatnot. And then we t she went to the we went to the mall, so we went to the Disney store, which was a good thing, because um, her mom needed, like, two more um, party pack things for her birthday. So um, we got those, and... Then we had dinner, and she didn't want to have her pasta and stuff, and she was, like, being kind of cranky and naughty. And then finally she calmed down, but she was good most of the day, though, with me. But just when we got home, she was being really naughty. And um, we got the dog and everything. And then we came home. Well, actually, before we got home, we went to um, Toys R Us. I mean, not Toys R Us. Target. 
and we went because we had to buy the little party um, gift bag so we got this princess one and we got her card which is somewhere somewhere um where is it ah here it is we got her like the card and the tissue paper and I'll show you her card it's really cute what the <sighs> okay so that's that it says princess on the top really really appropriate and then I also got some um more stuff for me spend more money why don't you Astrid I need what th well this actually I did need this it was not like a splurge at all well this one wasn't the, f the first one I'm going to show you guys so I got this which I know you again you, it's like totally can you, can you guys read backwards that would be awesome but anyways this is a Neutrogena clear f cl bleh, clear face breakout free liquid lotion it's a sunscreen basically um SPF 55 it won't cause breakouts but it's not it's like light and oil free which is what I always ask for because that's what I hated that's the only reason I hated wearing sunscreen when I was younger um now obviously I can't live without it but I didn't like the oiliness and now I liked I like the ultra sheer dry touch one like it's really good for makeup stuff my issue with that is it's so hard to rub onto that it'll like stay put and then like you'll have like white patches and I think you probably saw them on me a few times in the videos like I just and my boyfriend's always like oh you have something white here I'm like oh it's a freaking lotion and especially when you're wearing like makeup it looks really bad like you know so that was the only annoyance and like for the body and stuff like yes you should probably use like a different one for your body but anyway it, it was just kind of annoying so anyways I got this plus it helped me not break out and it's good for it's water resistant for 80 minutes so yeah and then I got the Palmer's um, cocoa butter formula it's a massage lotion for stretch marks because I have um, like on my legs especially like on the sides of my legs I have them and I've noticed on the back of my knees and it's like um, also on my inner thigh for whatever reasons and it, like it annoys the hell out of me and I'm finally deciding to do something about it so anyways um, this vlog now turned to really long vlog I still will be easy to edit it'll just be one continuous thing anyways um, basically that's all I did I got home and I started watching um, Secret Life of the American Teenager and basically just watching TV on catching up on stuff because like my DVR was about to like delete more more stuff like it already deleted a bunch of shit so good thing I made a list though before so before doing that so it wasn't like totally bad hopefully I didn't throw that list away though because I've been ripping things out of my notebook um anyway I'm gonna just say goodnight because that's really pretty much it for tonight I'm gonna try to edit more vlogs and put up the description stuff um and hopefully get them all cut up to the March stuff um, at least in terms of descriptions, and then try to finish the March ones. Um, tomorrow, basically, all I'm doing is probably just going to go get my nails done. Um, like, get a pedicure, because I really do need that, and that's, like, the last thing I'm going to really spend on. Plus, I'm getting paid, like, the next day, or maybe even tomorrow. And then, um, from there, I'll probably just... watch TV and clean my room and get things done, and edit and stuff, and get the present ready, and then just get ready and go over to her party. Um, so anyways, I'm going to say goodnight because it's turning into a 20-minute video of me just talking about today. And today wasn't all that jazz, like, exciting and stuff. It was a pretty normal day of shopping for things I needed to shop for and for, thing like, specific things. Anyways, I'm going to say goodnight now, so goodnight. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe somewhere here. I'll just link it somewhere here. Anyways, goodnight.